Hey guys, it's me, Poppy Rain, here coming to you with a new video. God, my hair looks awful. Thankfully, it's really look bad for another like hour or so. Today, we're going to be doing a pamper day. I will explain to you what that's going to be. Um, I just have one quick thing to do before I actually start this pamper day, but I wanted to film this intro. So I'll show you all the products and tell you everything we're gonna do. So, friendos. Friendos, okay. So, I'm going to be dyeing my, well, I'm gonna be fixing my hair. If you saw my last hair dye video, you'll know. I'm using the um, Midnight Magenta, no bleach. Splat. My hair the rest of it is good so that won't be as bad we're going to be flossing my teeth we have Packers kids floss sticks from Dollar Tree we are going to be uh, conditioning my hair we're using I'm not using the conditioner that comes with the splat I'm gonna give that to mommy I don't use the splat conditioners um, this is the generic value products concentrate leave-in treatment Sebastian Potion Number Nine from Sally's. We have my wet dry brush. It's really gross, so I use this as my hair dye brush. And then my new brush. I mean, actually, my new brush has hair dye on it as well. Surprisingly. And then we have my Sally's Beauty Comb. I gotta clean this brush out a little bit, guys. This brush is like really nasty. Mm, okay. We have my toothbrush. It needs to be cleaned, apparently, which I will do. Ew. Which I will do after I brush my teeth. This is just a Ariel toothbrush from Walmart. Five dollar toothbrush. We have this Brush Buddies Herbal Toothpaste Charcoal, which I don't like. But I have to finish it up because I'm not going to waste it. From Dollar Tree. We have my Dollar Tree razor because shave day. Oh, yeah. We have my hair dye cape. Ah, we have cotton balls from Dollar Tree. I can't remember where Daddy bought me the hair dye capes from. Then we have vanilla sugar raspberry facial wipes and makeup remover wipes to get hair dye off which hopefully I won't need we're gonna use the oil-free acne pink pomegranate or pink grapefruit foaming scrub in the shower I prefer to use this in the shower just because at our house you don't have hot water in the bathroom downstairs so it's easier to do it in the shower um so I'm gonna do it in the shower here to save time although I could do it before I get in the shower we have wet and wild one step Wonder Gel. I think I got the Dollar Tree. This is in the shade by Felucia. I do that because my nails gotta be redone. Oh, we have the Rapid Dry Top Coat from LA Colors from Dollar Tree, and then we have the hair dye remover. Sorry, my head is really itchy because my dander's been acting up. 
Um, and then I gotta find. Ah. Vaseline. There's not much left in there, but it should be enough to put around my forehead and stuff. Or actually, I heard you can use conditioner too. For that, I'll use the um, Fruity Garnier Color Shield, which is a condition I have here at Dad's. And then for body wash, <clears throat> I still have this one that I've been obsessed with. This one I bought from a dollar store in Cortland. This is... Margarita Zest Shower Gel. Oh, that's so good. But I just have a couple quick things to do, and then I will show you this. And then, I want to make it even better, I'll show you guys. I also have a bra and underwear set. I'm going to be wearing one of my new bra and underwear. This is the only matching set I actually got. So we're going to be wearing this one today. So friggin' cute. Here's the bro. The bra. And then... We have the matching undies. How hella cute are these? So that's gonna be fun. So yeah. So I'm gonna go. Do a couple things I need to do, and I will be and change my shirt and take my bra off and get out my cloth. So that I have, so that I um don't hopefully stay in the counter again. This counter is already looking a little orangey orange. And then I will dye my hair and then we'll brush and floss. And hopefully I'm gonna be able to curl my hair tonight, which I will hopefully do a tutorial on. Cause I'm getting my new hair curler supposedly tonight. Don't know how true that is. And I will also do an outfit. Um, Actually guys, real quick, I will do an outfit lookbook for you too. Well, out the try on haul will be later, but so as I mentioned, here's my bra from Walmart. And the underwear is from Walmart. You guys saw that in yesterday's vloggy vlog. Or day before. Can't remember if it was yesterday or day before. Super cute. Then I'm going to be wearing... These... What? Russell, yeah, no, Doug socks from Do it from Wally World as well. My Doug socks with these lovely Puma yoga pants that I thrifted. Um, I don't have my sweater. My sweater is actually in the other room, but if they um, if you guys know, my coworker told me they're called drug rugs. Because they're Rastaf the Rastafarian sweaters. You know what I'm talking about. I have my rainbow one today. And then I'm going to be wearing my favorite Wish shirt. This is going to be my outfit of the day. My OOTD. And then I'm wearing, for hair accessories, the one that I'm currently wearing. Just this mermaid headband from Claire's. Because I should have brought my blow dryer, but I didn't. So, like I said, I'm going to go do a couple things real quick. Throw this on. Throw on my cape, and I will be back to, to show you some action. Yay, yeah, so I'm finally about to do my hair. So, we're going to do this in a process. Hold on. So, I changed. So, step one was changing my shirt. 
I have on this thrifted little Halloween-y shirt. Step two is to get out all my shit that I've hair dyed. That I'm not ruining more stuff. So we're going to use this yucky towel to cover the workspace. So I hope they don't bleach everything again. And then this is the towel that I got hair dye on and I washed it out. So, okay, next we have to remove all jewelry. Then we need to put on my cape. My hand on that head. I should put it backwards. Okay. Now we need to brush through my hair. And we need to part it. We're not doing like what we would normally do for hair because um, we're only dyeing the top of my head. My bangs are not cooperating with me apparently. I don't know why my bangs are sitting on both sides again. Mommy's gonna have to fix that. Yes, I know my hair is greasy, but it's better to do your hair than it is. Crazy. There's not, there's a freaking gray hair. Guys, I'm so annoyed. I have a gray hair and I'm only gonna be 28 next month. Granted, my mom said she started going gray at 18, so. Okay, that is done. Then real quick, I'm just gonna throw my hair up for a second. Because I gotta put Vaseline around my face to try and help. Either Vaseline or conditioner, either or. But I can do that real quick. I'm gonna just throw my hair up real quick for a sec. We need to open our hair dye box. Like, see you. Oh, I gotta get a pair of scissors too. We're skipping this part, like I said, we're gonna give that to mommy. Garbage pile on the floor. Yeah, I already know how to dye my hair. So after we're done doing this, guys, then we will do the teeth brushing and all that fun stuff. Hold on. I, gotta, I always forget the scissors, guys. I gotta go grab scissors. I opened my bottle. Okay, so we have our, we're going to clean up. Okay. It doesn't look like there's much Vaseline left, so I'm going to use the conditioner instead. Instead. Oh, my dad did get Q-tips finally. Okay.
So for this, you put it around like, you know. Around like the outline. Because the idea is that it creates a barrier and that the um, hair dye will stick to the, you know, stick to the conditioner, not your skin. And we're gonna put, and I'm gonna put, cause my ears get really bad too. So I'm gonna, okay. Okay. I'm going to try and do this a little less messy than last time. Okay, we're going to shake this off and cut this off. Now we gotta take my hair down. See exactly how much of my hair actually needs to be dyed. It's pretty much like the top and the roots, I feel like. Sorry if I'm looking like off, I'm trying to look in the mirror. Cause like I said, I'm not doing my whole head. I mean, we might touch up some of the other parts, but we're mainly doing the parts that are really bad. Like the top is really bad. And, um, you can see like there's some red in there still. Um, and actually before I get too far. I am just gonna remove my glasses. <clears throat> Which is going to make this process a little harder because I keep, uh, like, blind as shit without my glasses. I'm one blind bat. But, really rather not ruin my glasses. Now, again, this is not normally how you do your hair, but this is how I do mine. I mean, I'm mainly focusing on, like, the roots and, like, all the parts that are really funky and weird. Not so much, obviously, on, like, the ends and everything else. But mainly focusing on like the top. Cause as you can see, like that's a hella brown right there. And like we're trying to focus on the areas that are really bad. Before we focus on anywhere else. I'm trying to not get the ends of the hair. We're literally trying to do from like the bottom of the ears up is really what we're trying to do.
like I said, mainly focusing on the roots and the top. Yep. All right, so we're going to end up dyeing my scalp again, which I'll have to, which I'm just going to say, screw it for now and I'll fix it later. I will deal with that later. I just want to make sure that I get really good up there. All through here, it's massively brown. So this is kind of hard to do because I can't really see very well. Trying to see where else it's like really like red and weird. I'm trying to focus on the spots that are really brown and really red. Again, we're not trying to get the whole hair. We shouldn't touch up all the parts that need to be fixed. Because we're still trying to keep the ends purple. And just so you guys know, it's better to put in too much hair dye versus not enough hair dye. It's much easier to fix when it's too... Although, I don't think you can honestly really ever put in too much hair dye. I totally just realized this keeps shifted. Oh well, this is really bad. Sorry. Mm, I literally just realized my whole keep shifted. Oh, yeah. 
It's really red all through there. I think we're gonna have There's a giant knot in my hair, guys. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, we're still trying to leave the ends mostly purple. Thankfully, we're not making nearly as much of a mess as we did last time. Because, again, less hair to do. It's a little bit easier each time. I feel like each time there's a little bit less hair to do. We're trying not to get the ends. And we're not doing too bad. We're not making a huge mess like we normally do either. I think we're almost sufficiently done with this bottle too, guys. I mean, I'm actually going to try and wash this in cold water this time. I'm not going to squeeze every little last bit out. So I think this should be sufficient enough for my point and purposes of all of this.
because like I said, we're not trying to get the ends of my hair. I just think I'm pretty well managed. So not get the ends of my hair. Okay, I think this is good. We're gonna leave this on for 30 minutes and I will catch you after I clean up and shower and all that fun hoo-ha.